it's Lindy and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. I make videos centered around veganism, mental health, and just kind of like my daily life. So if you are interested in any of that, please hit that subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video, which is three times a week. Do let's hop right on into it. I feel like I need to get closer. Oh, whoops. Today we are going to be talking about veganism and pets, which can be quite the controversial subject, not only amongst vegans, but amongst people in general. I'm going to cover all the bases and let you know why I am for having pets. Now just hear me out and wait until the end. Let's talk numbers first. Approximately 7.6 million companion animals enter shelters each year just in the U.S. 3.9 million are dogs and 3.4 million are cats. Now those numbers do not include abandoned reptiles, amphibians, fish, and other exotic pets, nor does it include the number of those animals that die in captivity due to poor care. These statistics also do not include the number of animals that die in the streets due to starvation, disease, infections, etc. Only one, one out of every 10 dogs born will find a forever home. One out of 10. Only 15 to 20% of those dogs in shelters are ever returned home and less than 2% of cats are. Only 10% of the animals received by shelters are spayed or neutered. Now let's start talking breeding numbers. There are approximately 10,000 puppy mills in the United States alone. 25% of the dogs in shelters are purebred. Over 2 million puppies are born into these puppy mills each year and this does not in any way include backyard breeders. Now compare those numbers to the 2.7 million cats and dogs that are being euthanized annually, 1.2 million of those being dogs. Yeah. Why are we killing 2.7 million of those animals because no one wants to give them a home, but somehow we can find homes for the 2 plus million other dogs that are being purposely bred simply because someone wants to make a profit off of them? We are once again making animals suffer and die due to our greed and selfishness. And that is not only extremely sad, but also really pathetic. Now let me just add to this by saying that I do think the process of keeping pets is unnatural and I do believe that it is something that we shouldn't do. I mean, dogs and cats are essentially this weird man-made thing. They have natural ancestors, of course, but we've created like these weird mutated versions of them. Kind of like we've done with farm animals, causing them to grow faster, produce more milk, etc. We've also done the same with other types of animals in a shorter span of time. I am entirely against breeding, except for the circumstances where it involves endangered species whose numbers are declining due to human interference. But that is an entirely different ballgame. With all of that being said, let me explain to you why I think that we should care for pets. It really all boils down to I believe that we have a personal responsibility to care for these animals that have suffered at human hands and that who need someone to take care of them through adoption only, even exotic animals. In just about every good sized city, there are multiple rescues that have not only cats and dogs, but other exotic animals. They have rat rescues, bird rescues, ferret rescues, reptile rescues, you name it. There are animals of all different kinds that people abandon all the time. I actually couldn't even find the statistics on exactly how many exotic type animals are abandoned each year. My stance is that it's kind of our obligation to adopt an animal. Humans have done this to them and I kind of think that we need to make it right. What I'm saying is that it does a lot of good for the individual themselves that gets to get a home. And I definitely believe it's something worthy of our time to put in to take care of an animal if we can. Now I understand that some people's schedules and lives can't allow this, but those of us who do have the type of life that we can care for an animal, I believe it's our obligation. We can't release them into the wild. 
We just need to stop breeding animals and give those who need and deserve a home a home. We can generally always do more to help. And let me personally say that it is a really rewarding experience to see the direct effect that you can have on an individual's life who needed your help. I understand feeling very invested and emotionally attached to companion animals that we keep around us. And I would argue that the love that we can feel for other animals can be just as strong as the love that we feel for other humans. I also understand that that's entirely based on our emotions and our feelings. But I truthfully know, based on facts, statistics, and real world experience, that when it comes to human interference with animals, the cons will always outweigh the pros. We need to help those who are here and in need and stop creating more lives to just ultimately suffer at our hands. These are all the reasons why throughout my years of being vegan, I have chosen to adopt and care for all types of different animals. And I seriously love every minute of it. I do love animals, but like I said, I understand that they are better off without us interfering with them. Because of our preferences to keep animals around, we have ultimately made so many suffer and die because of that. And it's completely unnecessary. We don't need to have pets. We don't need to have pets in order to be happy. What we need to do is to stop fucking with them, pretty much, is what I'm trying to say. So if you can, think about adopting a pet who needs a home. Search your local rescues. Research the care that they require and see if it's fit for you. Because if it is, you could really, really change a certain individual's life. And I guarantee, even if they can't tell you, that they will be extremely grateful that you came along. Well, all right, guys, that is it for today's video. That is my stance on keeping pets as a vegan. Maybe if you're on the opposite side of the argument, you can kind of understand where I'm coming from. I think that ideally, all vegans can kind of agree that we don't think pets should be a thing and that we want to stop breeding them and just help the ones out who need homes now. If you enjoyed that video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I make new videos three times a week. Follow me on Instagram and add me on Snapchat. Links will be in the description. I post very regularly on both of those, especially Instagram, so you can always catch me on there. Well, alright guys, thanks for watching and I will see you on my next video.